Okay, this is our first video in uh, Math 1030. This is section 5.1. The vocabulary, you will have vocabulary terms every once in a while in your lecture notes. And this is stuff that you do need to know. You need to understand what it's referring to because it's going to be in directions in, in the homework, in the quizzes, and on the test. First, a polynomial. It's an algebraic expression in which all exponent, exponents are counting numbers. Uh, starting with zero, one, two, three, like you were counting potato chips or something. Now I'm going to give some examples of um, expressions that are not polynomials. A negative five over x is not. 16x to the two-thirds, well two-thirds, that's not a counting number. Um, a negative 7x to the negative 2. And also another example, if 5 square root of x, those are not polynomials. We will see examples on down the sheet of polynomials. Standard form. For a polynomial to be in standard form, the exponents must be in descending order. The degree of a term is whatever the number is of the exponent. A monomial is a single term. Binomial is two terms. Trinomial is three. The degree of the polynomial or of a polynomial is the um, largest exponent that you see. And if it's in standard form, that means it's the very first one. But you have to scan. They don't always have to put problems in standard form. And like terms, we'll see that when we start adding and subtracting. Now, in this one, it says determine whether the following are a monomial, binomial, trinomial, and give the degree for each. Well, this one, I see two terms. That is a binomial, like bicycle. The degree of the polynomial is 3. Now, the degree of this term is 1, so the largest is 3. This one is not in standard form. So I'm going to write it in standard form. Most math books automatically put their answers in standard form, but that doesn't mean they have to give you the problems in that form. So this is, I've got one, two, three terms. That's a trinomial. Uh, the degree of this term is five. The degree of this one is two. The degree of this one is zero because we have, we can have, we don't see it, but y to the 0 equals 1. So if you have a constant, it's understood to be a degree of 0. Now the degree of the polynomial would be 5. This one, all by itself. Uh, this is a monomial. Its degree is 1. It's understood. Adding polynomials. You're going to have parentheses. You need to get rid of the parentheses, but it depends on the sign that's in front. If you don't see a sign, it's understood to be a positive. So I'm going to rewrite this. Because I'm distributing technically a positive one through. When you multiply anything by a positive one, signs do not change. Now, like terms. Like terms, by definition, are those that have the exact same variable piece. You combine them by adding the coefficients. So negative 9 plus 13 would be a 4x to the third. You've got 7x squared plus 2x squared. That will give me a plus 9x squared. Negative 5x, negative 8x would give me a negative 13x. Plus 3 minus 6 is a negative 3. This is called a polynomial because it's got four terms. The only time they have special names is when you have 1 or 2 or 3. Be careful here with subtracting because that does something to everything inside here. Let me get rid of the parentheses. So the positive is understood. So we've got 7x squared plus 3x minus 4. I'm distributing through a negative 1, and a negative 1 changes all signs. So minus 4x squared 
plus 6x, whoops, plus 7. So like terms, plus 7 minus 4 gives me a positive 3x squared. I've got 3x plus 9x, or gag a maggot, 6x, that will give me a plus 9x, and a negative 4 plus 7 is a plus 3. That's a trinomial. So let me move this on up. Another subtraction, but now look what they say. They want you to subtract this from that. So that means this is behind the uh, subtraction symbol. So let me write it down. Minus And like I did before, I'm going to rewrite, get rid of my parentheses. And I know some of you all will take this and change all signs in here. Don't be lazy. Just go ahead and rewrite. It won't hurt. And now combining like terms, I've got that one. Always include the sign with any of these uh, terms after the very first one. So a plus 7 minus 2 is a 5 x to the third, so those are done. I've got eight, a negative eight plus six gives me a negative two x squared. I've got plus nine x plus three x is a plus 12 x, and minus six minus nine is a minus 15. Yay, that one's done. I've got more subtraction on here. The addition won't get you, but the subtraction will. You just have to be very careful. Make sure you change all signs. And double check before you start combining, just to make sure. So I've got 12 y cubed minus 4 y cubed. Give me 8 y cubed. I do not have a 9 or a y squared back there, so I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite it down. I got a negative 11y plus 5y is a minus 6y. Minus 3 minus 8 is a negative 11. Okay, so that's it for this particular uh, part. So you need to try and do this homework. Thank you.